Japan America, as well as a journalist, a lecturer at Tokyo University. Um, he has, uh, well, let me just re read through this. He's been published in the US, Europe, and Japan. He's called the most comprehensive study of how Japanese pop culture enchanted the West. That's Wired Magazine, it is an imperative resource. Uh, his book is um, a broad primer, a, it's precious, etc. It goes on and on. He even has a quote from Pete Townsend of The Who, um, saying that this is the book I've been waiting for. He's a lecturer at Tokyo University, the University of Sacred Heart Tokyo. He's the editor of the New York-based literary journal, A Public Space, which we have some sample copies here, by the way, which you can sign. And he's, the co he's a columnist on the Daily Yomiuri, which is one of the big newspapers in Japan. Um, I can go on, but I think I'll keep it short. And I'm going to hand it over to Roland Kelts. So here he is, Roland Kelts. Thank you. Uh, I just want to uh, start by uh, thanking, first of all, Kinokuniya Bookstore for hosting this event in their brand new and beautiful uh, store here on Bryant Park. Uh, big, big thanks to Kinokuniya and to John and Omofan and uh, all the crew for hosting us. Uh, second, I want to thank uh, Tokyo Pop, um, who are uh, their main office on the West Coast. They coordinated to have these four wonderful artists, entirely unique visions, uh, on the panel with us today. So big thanks to Tokyo Pop. Also want to thank a couple of, of local groups, uh, NYC Anime, which is a, a website uh, run by Clyde Adams III, uh, for announcing the event and promoting it uh, early on. Uh, full, credit. full credit, yes. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, also New York Tokyo, which is a great organization based here out of New York. Uh, Taiko Baba is the head of that uh, for promoting the event as well. So thanks to all of those people. And of course, thanks to you for coming out. This is awesome. It's great to see so many people in, in resplendent costumes as well. It's fantastic. Uh, so, I'm going to start off uh, talking a little bit about um, this stuff, manga and anime and Japanese pop culture, and, and by way of giving an, an introduction to my book, which is called uh, Japan America, which is not a manga, it's just a regular old book. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and talk a little bit about how that book came into being, and then I'll go on and introduce the panel and the artists on the panel, and hopefully we'll engage in some scintillating discussion after that. Ooh. So, first of all, the book, uh, I should start by saying that my mother is Japanese and my father is American, so uh, while I didn't technically grow up in both cultures, I certainly had the influence of both cultures in my childhood. I went to kindergarten in Japan when I was uh, six years old and uh, periodically made trips over to Japan as my Japanese uh, relatives made trips to America. So I started seeing the world from, in a way, those two sides of the ocean when I was a child. And uh, when I was approached by uh, editors at Palgrave Macmillan, the publishers of this book, to consider writing a, a work of nonfiction about the Japanese pop phenomenon in the United States, uh, one of the first people I spoke to was my mother, asked her what she thought of this idea, and um, her response was, well, you know, we don't really take manga and anime seriously. <laughs> so you should be aware of that, Roland, before you start writing this book. Um, she's right in a sense, uh, and it's important, I think, to state up front to those of you who've not been to Japan or not lived in Japan that these are still not really mainstream uh, media in Japan. Uh, they are very much... Uh, private pleasures, in some cases guilty pleasures, depending on the content. Uh, so, um, while a lot of uh, foreigners assume that manga and anime are everywhere in Japan, uh, it's not really true. My uncle, for example, who is in his 60s, uh, has only ever seen uh, manga made by Osamu Tezuka, who's considered the godfather or the father of the form. So it's not truly a mainstream uh, form of expression. And that's one of the reasons why it can be so exciting, as many of you know. Uh, it's relatively uncensored, relatively unedited material, and it started out that way. Um, I'm going to just uh, start by tracing very briefly the beginnings of, of manga in Japan. Um, as I mentioned Osamu Tezuka earlier, 